previously on Bug Boy. I'll see a bunch more over here. I'm going to watch you open some cabinets. You can open them and check them out. You can move all of these. Let's see if they're all unlocked. Whoa. Is there anything in that last cabinet, in the hallway? Any? Yeah. Uh... There's nothing okay, good. <laughs> That's a good answer. No people, right? Yeah. So, if we open one of these, we see these here. And so on the outside will be one group name, and then inside are the other group names. So we can actually open them, pull them out, and then here's a whole bunch of MF trains, right? So we can open it up. And then we look, and then on each of them, so you see, here's the, the name, the genus, and the species. And then in this case, people even put if it's a male or a female. And then you can see right there on. Oh, so there's the same kind? Yeah. They're just the same one's species. Male, one's a species. Exactly, yeah, and they might be a little bit different. They are water bowmen. Yeah. Giant water bugs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know more about bugs than I do. Don't tell my boss. Look <laughs> <laughs> at my dog. You know the, the nickname for these, the common name? Yeah, uh, the giant water bugs. They also call them toe biters. <laughs> they will bite your toe. <laughs> My name is Boy and I'm here to say I love Krispy Kreme's in a special way So sit back and lend me your ears And let me relax all your insect fears Word to your bugger The actual, uh... <laughs> oh my goodness, they have things going for The actual, I call it collection It's sort of like Indiana Jones and a lot of the stuff in here is actually marine. I saw, I think, the video I saw you, was, you said that something was a mollusk. I forget what it was, but it was very impressive. You knew that it was oh, a... Oh, a slug. Yeah, you slug. Like, you knew that they were mollusks. Do, do you know what uh, annelids are? Annelid? This is a tough one. So annelids are worms, actually. So we have some neat things like... Whoa. Some of the world's biggest earthworms, right? Those are from Australia. Whoa. These are pretty cool. Looks right? like dung. <laughs> it does. <laughs> So you oh can actually God. hear these above ground when they're slipping around underneath you. But crustaceans, what a crustacean is? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, they're in you know, crabs, squid, lobsters, and exactly. bullies, Mice. So, uh, oh, so, so isopods. Are you a big isopod fan? Do you ever, yeah. You, I'm going to show you the biggest isopod you've ever seen. Not here, but in a few minutes. Um, oh, so we have all kinds of things like crabs and stuff. Yeah. And just like the pin things, everything has its own information, right? Mm. So you can see it's collected 1945. For some reason, everything I'm pulling out is collected in the 40s. I don't know why that is. <laughs> um, and I'll tell you, this one's Florida, so not too exotic, not too, too far away. But... North Carolina, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so it's in scientific grade alcohol. So the nice thing about the alcohol is it actually preserves the DNA, too. So a big part about what a lot of scientists in the museum are doing now is we'll actually try to get the DNA from these different specimens to try to learn things about how these animals look this way or how they do what they do. Here's a mantis uh, shrimp. You want to see a mantis shrimp? That'd be awesome. It's not quite as impressive because they lose their color after they've been Aww. preserved, but... Whoa. I think it's funny because it, on here it looks like it's little ears. Really good. It's a mantis shrimp. So these are, they're really smart and they actually, yeah. these uh, really things up here, they're actually like boxing gloves so they can actually they can break aquarium glass so people mm -hmm. keep them. They have to be careful with them. Uh, they can actually, no, they can actually snap uh, glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can break through glass. How do like jellyfish are able to do things? They don't even have like a brain or anything. That's true, yeah. So we actually have a person who's working just on that about, because they're the very first animals or some of the earliest animals that have like a nervous system and it sort of all works automatically. So part of it, you might think about it kind of like how you're breathing. Normally you don't think about your breathing, right? Mm -hmm. But it kind of does it its own, you know? Or you digest- like my heart pumps, I don't have to do it. Exactly, same it thing. Or you knows. digest food. And so it's the same kind of thing. So these little things kind of interact with the jellyfish and it says, okay, there's movement, I'll go towards that. But it's not really thinking that, it's just sort of responding, you know? Uh, so it's almost like a robot in a way. Kind of, yeah, it's a little it's like, bit. It just has like, like simple instructions maybe and then it kind of does like that. That's a good way to think about it, like a robot. Scorpions and things. Um, which you actually saw when we came in. A lot of those, I think, were scorpions. scorpions. Uh, there are, I don't know the group, the family of genes for emperor scorpions, though. Why don't you tell them what you want to get as a pet? Oh, whip scorpion. Yeah, somebody here has a whip tail in their office. Really? Yeah. I don't know why, but a lot of scientists keep them. You know? So, this is the giant squid. Here. Oh, well, oh. no kidding, but they have to get something in this <laughs> In New Zealand, some fishermen caught it. Um, Is it lost? A geek caught a giant squid? Probably with good reason. <laughs> how do you, how would you have to catch a giant
So I think we can Holy cow. Do we have stairs? Actually, I think we have stairs. It doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> it's amazingly huge. You can't see it all. Can you guys see it? Yeah, yeah you fun. can. Let me grab you guys this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, now it's definitely a powerful smell. 50 feet? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Um, so you talked about isopods. So this is a deep sea isopod. Right? And so these are actually really strange because when whales die, you know, they drop to the bottom of the ocean and all this new life kind of emerges from that. It's so much food at the, a place that normally doesn't get very much food that a lot of uh, life kind of kicks into gear. And so one of those things is a this isopod, and they actually live on these whale falls. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Give you a better it's view. Chilling. Look at that. That's quite the pill bug. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're gonna see the face, that's the best part. It's getting bad. Yeah, I know. Sorry that all this stuff smells. <laughs> That's part of biology a lot of times. Things are stinky. Whoa. This is caught in the bottom of the sea? Yeah. This is kind of a natural one. So you can actually see the gills down here. Right? Whoa. Wow. And then all of these different appendages. So this is actually one of the things that makes arthropods really good at, at diversifying. It, so it many looks, of them. Its face looks pretty cool. It does, yeah, it looks like an alien, right? <laughs> it's like domestic me here. And you see there's two sets of antenna here. And the mouth parts and then everything else is used for moving around or getting into food and everything. And they can kind of ball up the same way that your backyard isopods do. Mm. Oh yeah, so arthropods, one of the things that we think makes arthropods good at being really diverse is they have all these different, you know, segments, right? And so you see this segment fits with this leg and this segment fits with this leg. And if you think about it with insects, it's the same kind of thing. You have these four legs that are, you know, like in uh, the case of praying mantises, right? They're adapted to catch things. Um, in the case of, of grasshoppers, they're adapted to kind of spring away. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at a thing like a crab, these front legs are used like um, pincers, okay. and yeah. then they might be a little bit different in a different arthropods. So all these arthropods have these different sort of like base... A good way to think about it is like, um, kind of like Legos. Like mm -hmm. You have these different Legos that you can just swap and put new Legos onto these same parts. And because you're able to do it so many different ways, you have a lot of different diversity. So you have insects and crabs and millipedes and isopods and everything. It's the same kind of like base, the same Lego set, but it's just used in different ways. You know? uh, uh, are those isopods like, if they like lose a leg, can they just grow another? Um, I like don't know crabs? if that's true with these ones. That's a good question. I'm not sure. <laughs> how do you easily tell the difference between an insect in the order Hemiptera and one that isn't? In the order Hemiptera? Yeah. So it's the mouth parts, right? So these sucking mouth parts. So that assassin bug that you really like, you know, it has these this thing, yeah, or um, I think it might even be called a rostrum sometimes. So they actually use it to impale things, and even the ones that don't eat other insects have that same thing that they use to sort of like drink the liquid out of plants, like a stink bug. Yeah, like a stink bug, exactly. That's a good question. Why do you think people like butterflies but not ants? That's a really good question. I think because they're pretty, yeah, and because they don't ants. sting. Well, a lot of ants don't sting, and they don't bite either. Of them. There are plenty of ants that are harmless. That's true. That's very true. And they're and they're toxic butterflies. That's a really good point. As long as you don't, you have to eat them though, at least. And they're not pets. They don't come into your house. Most people, when I talk to, when I tell them what I do, the first question they have is, "How do I kill ants?" Which bums me out, but it's okay. Um, and I think a big part of that is because they feel like they're invading their own house, right? Like you're in your home, and then you see something that you didn't put there, and you're like, oh, how'd you get here? I didn't tell you you could be here. Um, so maybe part of it is that. 